Hey guys, I'm Amy from the Boreo Programme and this week we're walking you through some constituent parts of our Boreo Programme standards, which is basically our process to ensure that we work with the same kind of client all the time. So clients spend long hours sitting at a desk who struggle with aches and pains, struggle with posture, struggle with finding the time and the motivation to dedicate to their health and fitness, particularly over the last year. We work with that kind of client all the time. We love that kind of client and we wanted to create a process so we could ensure on paper, in writing, um, a really predictable system to get those clients the results they want. And I wanted to show up and share some bits um, with, with you of that this week. So today I'm going to teach you uh, three parts of a move called Thread the Needle. Um, we have four levels in our Warrior Programme Standards and each level takes the same move and moves it on to a, a further stage to push, you know, push the client further ahead um, and the, the goal of that is to make sure that each part of someone's journey is always progressing, nothing gets left behind and you become as, as a rounded uh, an athlete as we like to say, as rounded as an individual in this area, knowing what you're doing, getting the best possible results out of your investment with us. So thread the needle is amazing for you if you spend lots of time doing this or lots of time doing this um, or even cycling, um, particularly if you get any kind of neck or shoulder or kind of you feel like you have rounded shoulders in front, you don't think your posture is great, like this is really great. And the point of this is to take the moves which we feel are the most efficient to get you the best outcomes for, for the least amount of effort and amount of time. Um, and using those, just, you know, all killer, no filler, all of that. And this is one of them. So I thread the needle, and I'm just gonna introduce it right now, and then we'll take it through some, some further stages later on uh, today. So you're in a nice little box shape, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. And what we're looking to do is to feed one hand through to bring the shoulder down to the ground like so. Side of the head comes down, other hand is chilling, reaching through. We've got our weight in this hand in the side of our head. And we're resting here. We're going to feel a stretch in the back of the shoulder. We might feel a stretch in the mid back and I'm going to show you side on as well. So you can see exactly what I'm getting at from both angles. So opposite side this time, reaching that, that hand through, side of the head down. Just looking forwards, this way your eyes naturally go. And keeping breathing. Breathing through your nose um, is a really good way to make sure your body stays calm while you're doing any kind of stretch work. It's really natural to hold your breath. I remind clients about holding your breath all the time. Um, but if you can keep breathing, it means your body's more likely to go with it and to get the result of the stretch rather than if you tense up, your body is going to be in resistance. So that's stage one, I've had the needle. Come back later on today and I'll take you to stage two.